Tailgate Talks with the University of Nebraska Beef Extension. I'm Sydney O'Daniel and today I'm going to talk to you a little bit about uh, grazing corn stalks this fall and winter. Um, with corn harvest well underway in most of the state, it's probably time to start thinking about your strategies for grazing corn stalks this fall. Now, the cattle are going to mostly eat the husk, leaves, and corn, and they're going to prefer any spilled corn first over the husks and leaves before they start eating um, the cob and the stalk. Um, which those leaves and husks are um, highly digestible and a great feed resource for this fall and winter um, and generally meet the nutrient requirements of dry cows. However, the quality of grazing corn stalks declines over time based on stocking rate and um, weather. Excess um, wet weather in the fall and winter will um, rapidly uh, decrease the quality of the husks and leaves and um, other attributes of corn stalks. So you'll have to um, keep an eye on that as this fall progresses. Generally, we recommend that you graze corn stalks to 50% of what was out there to begin with. Um, usually the take half, leave half rule is a good idea. Um, it's also important to remember that if you are grazing calves or placement heifers or lactating fall cows, um, they are going to need varying levels of supplementation and your local extension educator can help you work out um, a ration plan for those, um, those cattle. Now one of your first steps to grazing uh, corn stalks will be to calculate your stocking rate. Um, UNL has a great resource for this. They have the corn stock grazing calculator which can be found on the beef.edu website. And this is a great tool because not only can it calculate um, stocking rate based on grain yield, it can calculate that in a variety of ways. So if you have a certain amount of acres and you want to know how many um, animals can graze on that certain amount of acres, you can um, calculate it backwards from that. Or if you have a certain amount of grazing days available and you want to know how many acres and animals um, would fit into those grazing days, um, you can do that as well. So it's a great tool for uh, landowners and cattle owners as, um, equally because you can calculate based on acres available or animals available. So um, it's a great resource, but it can also calculate um, cost per animal per day or total cost for cattle that are grazing as well as cost per nutrients and cost per transportation and supervision for those cattle while they're grazing. Um, so like I said, it's a great resource for um, cattle owners as well as the landowners. If you don't own both and you um, are working with a landowner to graze their um, corn stalks. A couple more words to the wise for grazing corn stalks this fall is to scout fields prior to turnout. Um, eight to 10 bushels of spilled or downed corn per acre um, can be hazardous to cattle. So you'll want to have an alternate grazing plan if that is the case in the field, if uh, for whatever reason there was an excess amount of down corn that year or um, a grain truck uh, accidentally spilled, you'll want to um, have a plan for addressing that and you'll want to be aware of that before you turn uh, cattle out. Um, also, as we approach winter, you will want to have a, a supplementation um, plan for cattle on corn stalks if there is um, a significant ice storm or um, a deep snow event because those cattle will not be able to uh, graze those corn stalks until the weather improves and so you will want to be able to access that field to uh, provide some supplementation uh, during that time. Thanks for watching and remember that you can find the UNL corn stock grazing calculator on the beef.unl.edu uh, website as well as um, the NEB guide for grazing corn stalks and those are two great resources um, to review for this fall. So thanks for watching and see you next week.